Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. They're like twins! <laughs> Look at that! You are getting uglier in your old age. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Another thing we have in common. <laughs> no, I'm still young and good looking. <laughs> That's why we hide the mirrors from you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the Archer's Choice. Woof. We're back. Welcome to Archer's Choice Welcome for Archer's the Choice. eighth season. It is our eighth season, all bow hunting, all the time, all Ralph. No, it's not all Ralph. <laughs> but you know, it's it's eight years. I've been really. It's been a lot longer. I've been hanging with her. I, Someone asked how long we've been married. I, is it like 50? Yeah, but it's eight years of you it. guys having to have him in your living room every week. I'm so sorry. Hey, Ow. we have lots and lots of great footage to share with you for the next 13 weeks. Unbelievable bow hunting adventures. Yeah, and one of our favorite is moose hunting. But and before we're starting we get there, out there. But before we go there, yes. Lucky logo. Once again on Archer's Choice, we have the Lucky logo. If you see the Cabela's logo, We'll tell you at the end of the show what to do with it. Because one of you is they're going shopping. That's right, shopping. So let's get into that wonderful moose footage. Up in the Yukon. Up in the Yukon, McMillan, McMillan River. Milling River. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we made it to Whitehorse. And as usual, it's foggy <laughs> and raining. But we're here. <laughs> hey, wait, turn, bend over. No. <laughs> Come on, they made We're twins. <laughs> They're like twins. Come on, oh, ready? Look at that. Oh, you know what, Rod? Your, your spot's a little bit bigger than Ralph's. Oh, listen to you. Well, you can barely see up the mountain. The cloud cover is definitely low. Yeah. Flying is a huge issue. Um, but we're going to get her done. We've got... Uh, We've got our man, Danny, who's going to be a scud runner. He's going to go in in and out of the valleys flying really low. Oh, oh my gosh. Danny. Well, that's so, camera gear. I yeah, blame I'm, it on the camera. Wow, is that wire ever bending? Check that out, Nick. I know he's lighter because of what he did in my bathroom. Yeah. This is what we wait for every year. We just arrived here at Moose Camp and we are pumped. We flew in, we had a real low ceiling, but uh, we had no issues whatsoever. Russ, um, Micah, and Matt all are pumped. Camp's ready, as you can see. We're gonna, we got our foamies out. We're gonna put, put out our sleeping bags and get ready, but in here in the Yukon, you have to wait six hours. So because we just flew in, we're gonna wait six hours. We might even take a little bit, a bit of a nap, shoot a little bit and just uh, get ready for moose mania. Let's 
days ago we were call calling just around the bend and we had this bull grunting from in this little valley here but then a cow started bawling across the river and we lost him so we were hoping this might be the same cow we're not going to want to go anywhere because that's still the beginning of the first day of ralph's hunt don't go anywhere we've got more if he doesn't kill the tree first okay stop stop <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Nice rack, huh, Vic? Yeah, okay. Well, you saw first segment, Ralph was out there. We waited our six hours, started going out on the hunt. Look at this, he's trying to score himself. No, Ralph, you know what? You have to be tall to worry about the width of the bull. Let's just go see if he can finish this hunt, shall we? What are you doing? You know it's not very wide if it's not that tall. <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week, do I look smart? <laughs> Vicky will say I'm not. Is, is calculating your kinetic energy. Why? This way you can make a better educated decision on what type of broadhead you're going to shoot for what type of game. Here it's real simple. Take the speed of your arrow, speed times speed, times the grain weight of your arrow, so let's say it's 300 feet per second times 300 feet per second times 400 grains. Divide it by 450, 240, and you're going to come up with your kinetic energy. That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. Okay, so we waited our six hours. He got in a cow and calf, and now he's getting closer. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Ralph's Hunt. Welcome back. Is the anticipation killing you? You know, it's the first day out, and you know what I've done in the past on the first days, but... I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth. You dropped your paddle. I'm gonna beat you with the paddle. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, better, oh, better, hey, better. Swing with the wife. Oh. 
You don't like to hunt very long, do you? That's a good bull. Do you see his front? Awesome bull. Awesome bull. He's, he's a beautiful bull. We started over there, and we had to come to at least get to an opening. He come right through there at oh, he, 15 yards, 12 you yards. You didn't let me range him, right? Well, no. I, <laughs> I'm looking at him, and I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at his fronts. I'm trying to see, and I'm like, yeah, he's a good bull. He's, yeah. He's, I think you'll be very happy. I think I'll be real happy. I just and shot him with a hell rate. It went right through. Oh, yeah. I, I mean. I mean, it went right it's through. It's gone. Guys, he, you could look at this. He come right through here. That sounded awesome, him sloshing through the water, eh? Oh, it's deep. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. It, I took him right here. I don't think we'll find that arrow. Well, long gone. A little bit here. There he is. He's right here. Oh, 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 oh. oh buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Holy cow. Look at this bull. Oh. Russ. Yeah, I'll give you a hand, maybe. Oh, what an old bull. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at this bull. Look at all his points. He is a Look at his fronts. Nice. Look at the Look at the measurements of it. Jeez. That's a big old bull, Ralph. <laughs> a little bit of fighting. I love the nice character tips. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, brother. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Don't mind the gloves. Wow. What can we say? This is moose mania to the extreme because it just, it, how can it? Thank you, Lord. Hey, congratulations, honey. Thank you, is that cool? Why is it that every time we go up there, the Yukon, you like to shoot your moose like within the first two hours of actual hunting? Never pass up the first day what you wouldn't pass up the last. Oh, okay. I thought it was because you just like to be my camera guy for the rest of the week. You know, don't go away because when we come back, Les, one of the guides, gets his shot and his, his right. bull and, well. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Isn't there a lot of bull on this show? Hey. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Yeah, now before we get into the next hunt, into our last hunt with Les, we just want, we want to go over a few of the techniques that you see us doing every time we're hunting up there in the Yukon for moose. Year after year, and don't think it's just the Yukon. This will work on most of you, anywhere you're going moose hunting. That's right. Anywhere. Really? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah. You know, a lot of times what we're trying to do when we're doing this, you see us wearing our black shirts or the guides wearing the shirts and we're using the paddles or we're using the scapula. Right, well basically what we're doing is we're imitating another bull. Right. Because that bull, when they come into rut, they have no idea. They don't have the best eyesight anyways. And as long as you play the wind and they can't smell you, you can move, you can make noise and they're not gonna care. And the big thing is, well, let me show you. Now, for like what Vicky was saying is they don't really see well. So all they're doing is they're seeing this dark image and we're making it like a paddle is coming through. Well, when they see that, they automatically go back into their rut, rutting stage, and they start waving that antlers back and, and forth. Rolling their posturing. eyes. You know, almost just like a white-tailed buck coming to a decoy. So I know a lot of people go, what are they doing? Yeah, they're insane. It works. Right there, there, I can see him. Oh.
This is awesome. It's uh, great to be able to shoot a Yukon moose in uh, McMillan River Adventures with Rod McGrath. That away, Les. Congratulations, buddy. Well, now, wait till you see the bull that Russ dr calls in for Vicky. And I'm going to tell you something, folks. For a lot of people who haven't moose hunted before, this is like a 200-inch white-tailed deer coming Yeah, I in. have one of those, too. my bull woman did you i don't know we won't be able to tell him until next week don't you hate that we left Jesus you hanging absolutely Ow! hate us <laughs> that was fun hey if you happen to see the cabela's logo go to archerschoice.com click on the lucky logo fill out the information and email it and someone's going to win some goodies from cabela's you might all be going shopping. All of them? Well, not all, but one. Oh, okay, just checking. Hey, we want to thank McMillan River, Rod McGrath, Russ, Joel, Les. Thank all the guys up there. All the guys there. up there, they're all just so awesome and we just enjoy ourselves so much up Most there. of all, it's we want to thank you because, well, this is the first show of Archer's Choice and we are so pumped to be back. We are, and congratulations on your nice 57 inch wide bull. 57 inches, baby. Woo, good yeah, job. Yeah, thank you, You're yes. welcome. So if you want to see if I get that moose, we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.